Kitguru is at Computex. We're starting with deep cool. Behind me we have some coolers. We saw these at CES. I'm going to start with a cooler that we aren't going to see in Europe or indeed in the UK. Disappointingly, come on in Matt. The coolers at the front are the white versions of the coolers at the back. Obviously, that's obvious. Price is the same, no premium for white. That's good. The tragedy is that this cooler is a slim version of this cooler and they apparently have the same thermal capability and yet for some reason the Americans are going to get this and this however we in the UK are only going to get this I don't understand, makes no sense I like slim efficient coolers and on the slim efficient front pivot round mat this way AN600, so it's a top down draft cooler it's going to cool your VRMs, your memory and your processor it's fairly large compared to a competitive Noctua for example you can see six heat pipes amazingly this we're told is rated in the order of 160 watts TDP this strikes me as quite remarkable it's not super low form factor it's definitely not ITX but that strikes me as impressive to its left almost for scale LT820 which is a 420mm version of the 360 we've previously seen so hurrah it's going to give you better cooling that's nice and we like it but it's not exciting whereas that AN600 I think has real potential and then we have some more potential PXP, P for platinum we saw some power suppliers at CES which were rated gold PXGs and those G gold uh, power supplies we were told were actually in practice platinum even though they were rated gold so you're paying a gold price you got platinum for your money these platinums we're told may well actually turn out to be titanium I don't actually understand why they're doing this why give you something for nothing it's great for the consumer but the idea they're going to rate a power supply as platinum when actually it's higher rated strikes me as borderline insanity I mean good on them but what are they doing and look at the connections how many RTX 4090s are you likely to connect to one power supply? This fella can do it. You've got one 12 volt high power connector in the center and a huge number of PCI Express power connectors and CPU power connectors that matter. That power supply is fully loaded and impressive. So, so far, I'm happy. Around on the other side of the room, I'm going to have to shove some people to one side. If I could just move you to one side, thank you so much. Assassin 4 and Assassin 4 in white. Our video from CES did rather well. It was very popular and I reckon half the questions under that video were when can we buy the Assassin 4? The answer now would seem to be in the very near future, like in the next month. This is good news because this cooler would appear to have a huge amount of potential. Uh, we're looking forward to getting our mitts on this and then we're looking forward to you being able to actually buy it because this cooler, in essence, does it all. It has a huge thermal capability, and the idea of it in either white or black, yep, we like that. And then we come to a case. Emphasis on the a. Uh. Morpheus, one, two, three. Did you get all those, Matt? Yep. And those three are actually the same case. He's having to move back to get them all in frame. So three cases, it's a large ATX. It's in the order of Corsair 5000D. So here we have a broken down flat pack version of, if you come in Matt and give us a good look at the bits and pieces, probably this case, uh, probably arriving in H2, is going to come in assembled form, probably in single chamber form, but these are the component parts. So the basic version will be single chamber. It's a regular case and as you can see, it's got a load of space inside and then you put a motherboard tray in it. That's straightforward, plus power supply shroud, and you'll likely use that case with horizontal graphics. Remains to be seen. Price for that is completely TBA. We don't have a clue. Also, they're waving around a 420 configuration of fans, so 3x140s, which will go in the side location. Again, a la Corsair, plus one or two other manufacturers. Where things get exciting is if you start swapping around hardware. You will see here we have a choice of two back panels and a choice of two motherboard trays. And then if we go to this white version of the built PC, what we have is the single chamber version of the case fully built. You can see a lot of 140mm fans, a huge horizontal graphics card, an Assassin 4 cooler, and it's fully spec, loads of hardware, 
and it has the supplied LCD readout giving you temperatures. That's absolutely fabulous. Very conventional, however. But then when we come to the black pre-built, and I'm going to have to ask the question, can you actually see what's in there? Let me get the light. And then we move to this black pre-built. What we have is the same Morpheus case, but in dual chamber configuration. So now we've got a vertical graphics card. We're using liquid cooling on the CPU because realistically, you're not going to get a large air tower in, but the power supply is now around the back. Plus, you can get loads of cables around the back and you will see we've got the side liquid cooler for the CPU cooler. We've still got fans in the floor and in the roof and at the front. They've mentioned up to 13 140 mil fans, which just seems monumental. So this is the question. How much should this case be? If we go back to the components, Matt, we're told that they're thinking in terms of the all singing, all dancing, you've got the option of going dual chamber configuration, will be in the order of 220 US dollars. Now, sadly, in the UK, because that's bound to be plus tax, maybe 250 pounds. So expensive, but we have certainly seen cases much more expensive. So this is interesting. I have to say, the single chamber, I like that. That's stripped down. It seems to do pretty much everything most people want, but it doesn't stand out in the market. The dual chamber variant, that's interesting. And I think that's going to be popular with the Kit Guru audience. This has been Kit Guru at Deep Cool starting Computex 2023. After what feels like about 5,000 years, we're back.